Thank you for jumping on the Team Fit and Fabulous call. It is Wednesday, July 8th, and I just wanted to friendly reminder that next week there will be no team calls due to Coach Summit. So excited about that. Um, but I just want to thank you guys all for getting on the call tonight, and I do want everyone to send me their goals for July. I would love to hear um, more about what, what you want out of this opportunity and what you want to achieve for July. So with that being said, our guest speaker tonight is Dean Shackley, and he has been studying Instagram like a boss. He has, I mean, really just been diving in really deep and just spending hours and hours and hours, I don't even know, like tons of time researching Instagram and really figuring out things that are working and things are not, that are not working. And so he's going to share those tips with us. Um, and really, let's just dive in right now. So here he is. Make sure everybody's lines are muted. I've tried muting everybody, but... Okay, here he is. Hey, everybody. Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Hi, Lindsay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so tonight's call is about Instagram and how to... Uh, become more efficient and uh, have better value and better time spent on Instagram because if you're like me and Kelsey, one of the most uh, difficult things and sometimes frustrating things is Instagram and trying to figure out all the tips and tricks and keeping up to date with those things. And, you know, for us, if somebody's already done all the legwork and all we have to do is listen to how it's done, and it's going to save us a ton of time, energy, and ultimately money. Uh, we're all in. So that's that's what I've done the past uh, three weeks or so. Did took Shalene's Instagram Impact Academy. Uh, you know, listened to it in the car on the way to work at lunch breaks. Uh, studied other people's accounts that she's directed me to, and kind of watched them and how they do things. Um, I spent about a total close to about 46 hours over the past three to four weeks um, studying this stuff. And, and I thought, what better way to pass this on to you guys by doing a call? Because, um, you know, this is one thing that I get frustrated with and I just want to know how to get better. So <clears throat> we're going to do our best to get this call recorded and get it up online. Um, but sometimes that doesn't always work as planned as you know, either one or two things happen, either technology fails us and we can't get the recording up or two, if you're like us, you get really busy in life and you want to get back to the call and then you, your time passes you and you don't know where it went. And all of a sudden you can't find the recording anymore because it's so far down uh, the news feed that you can't find it. So I highly encourage you guys to take notes because I am going to go over this fast so I can get this, get everything covered and get you guys back to what you were doing before. Um, so I'm going to touch on five, five key steps uh, that I learned and uh, I would like to pass on to you guys. Step number one is branding. Um, Instagram is a lot different than Facebook. Facebook should be treated as more of like your, your life and your timeline. Uh, you know, where you show your family, show what you guys are doing, um, where Instagram is more of like, so for us, we're in a fitness business. So Instagram should be treated more like a magazine. So this should be like your fitness uh, nutrition magazine. So when you open up someone's Instagram and you're really interested uh, in following them, it should look like, yours should look like a magazine. Um, it should be posts about tips on nutrition, recipes, whatever that may be. Um, there's a couple, there's a couple pages, a good, good branded pages that I would like you guys to follow. Uh, well, the first one is Jen Delvo. Uh, her page is, 
I feel is very branded. You know, as soon as you land on her page, what she's about. And at the same time, it's not uh, salesy. You don't see Jen taking a bunch of pictures with uh, selfies with Shakeology or buy here, buy now, here's my link. It's, it's her page is there to help people and help you get fitness and nutrition tips. Um, another one is Fitman Cook, full of great recipes. It's a very large page. I started following him back whenever I think he only had like 200,000 followers at the time. Now he's over several million, uh, but his is a very branded page. It's awesome. Um, I think that uh, Gabrielle Rose has a very good Instagram page, and uh, everybody should check her page out. Um, I think it's important to to make sure your page is brand and figure out what your brand is because when you get branded say for let's just say your brand is nutrition but more specifically it's uh, you're, you're suffering from a gluten allergy so you you start posting recipes uh, of gluten-free recipes so you're gonna start attracting people who have the same uh, struggles as you do with gluten and uh, they're going to come to your page and follow you for to, to count on you to post those recipes. So they're going to keep coming back and they're going to share your page. They're going to comment other people. Um, so to make sure your, your page is very specific, something like that. And maybe it's not gluten. Maybe, maybe you have, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Everybody's got something in their life that they're working on. Um, I think pictures of you, will help your grant will help your brand a lot um, or pictures of you with a quote uh, there there's too many pages that I've seen and and, and they struggle and all they are is a bunch of, of quotes or their selfies of a bag of Shakeology and they're not even in the picture and put yourself in your followers shoes if if all you seen was quotes and Shakeology, would you follow that page? No, you'd probably unfollow it because honestly, if you wanted a bunch of quotes, you'd either Google famous quotes, inspirational quotes, or you just go to Pinterest because that's kind of what people use Pinterest for. Um, and remember, your brand should be about you, not Beachbody. You're not Beachbody. You are insert name here, Lindsay Hay, you're, you're Kelsey Shackley, you're Naima. It should be about you and your struggles and what you're doing. Um, let's see. Videos and videos on Instagram and music. Make sure that when you're, when you're posting videos on Instagram that if you're going to use music, use royalty-free music because Instagram's really cracking down on people who are using copyrighted music for in and posts that are longer than six seconds and they're really starting to suspend your account and if you suspend your Instagram account you're suspending your business essentially step number two is hashtags uh, Instagram has changed this a lot lately um, I prefer that and I think it's best practice to put your hashtags separate from your your post so for example if you write a post about you know a recipe um, it's best to comment your hashtags later on rather than put those hashtags in your post because if you want to change those later on if you want to change those hashtags later on you can't just go in there and delete the hashtags you got to delete the entire post and you don't you don't want to spend all you've already spent that time creating that post uh, so make sure that make sure that you put your hashtags in the comment section. Um, Instagram has also changed the rule that uh, you can hashtag as much as you want. You know, before you, you could, you could put 30 hashtags on at a time and 12 hour, an hour later, you could delete those hashtags and put 30 new ones and you would go to the top of the feed. Well, that's changed now. Now, if you go and change your hashtags like you did before, your, your hashtags will go to the bottom of the feed or essentially from the date and time you made your original post. So if your post was a week ago and you changed the tags, 
your tags will show up at the bottom of the feed where your original post went so a week ago. So it doesn't really do you any good to go through and change those hashtags. Um, <clears throat> popular hashtags, uh, for example, uh, Fitspiration, Fit Girls, Squat, stuff like that. Those are, Shaleen does not re recommend those. What she recommends is you, you pick hashtags that are more specific. So, for example, if you're, you've got a video up that you've posted, um, sumo squats, instead of hashtagging squats, hashtag sumo squats or fit girl squat or um, first time mom or mom of three instead of just like fit mom. Uh, so, and, and that'll also help your brand and you'll attract those people that you know maybe there is a, a first time mom and she's trying to get into fitness and maybe that's what you're trying to attract or maybe you're trying to attract uh someone that is someone that is a, a big christian follower and that's what you want to post so just be specific to your brand whatever it is you're whoever it is you're trying to attract uh the third key is consistency um instagram has also changed this a bit it used to be you could post five times a day and you could still have a chance to get in the popular feed. Well, the more you post on Instagram now, as of late, the less, <clears throat> the less your inf the less your posts will get displayed on Instagram. So the, this, the study showed that if you post one time a day, you get 7% uh, exposure on Instagram. When you posted two times a day, you got 1% exposure. When you posted two or more, you got less than a half a percent exposure on Instagram. So make sure you try to keep that, that, that post to every 24 hours, but make sure you're posting every day. Because if you quit posting, your followers are gonna go somewhere else somewhere to a page that they can count on where there's going to be a post every day where they can go to look for inspiration or they can go look for tips uh, to somebody that's posting every day who they, you know, they wake up in the morning and they're laying in bed at seven o'clock and they're trying to get on their phone because, and find inspiration because they really don't want to go work out, but <clears throat> they know that if they go to your page, uh, they'll get inspiration and they'll get ideas and, you know, so make sure that you're you're always posting daily, and keep consistent. If uh, if you, if you fall off, so will your followers. Um, and and always look look for uh, other pages that you really like for ideas on posts. If you struggle, we struggle with it daily. Um, we struggle with coming up with ideas. We don't know what we're going to post two days from now. We look at other people's stuff and say, how can we incorporate that into our brand and what can we do and how can we do it better? Uh, so I challenge you to, to, to look at other people's posts. Uh, number four is a feature page. This is something that recently we've just dove into. And, uh, you know, Shaleen, I listen to her, Kelsey listens to her all the time and she's constantly hounding us about it feature page and I, I'm like okay Shaleen I'm trying to figure out or help Kelsey figure out our own page I'm trying to figure out my page I don't have time to deal with I got to get that mastered first before I can even think about a feature page well like always Shaleen is never wrong when it comes to this stuff for the most part um, I wish we would have started this feature page a long time ago um, the name of our feature page that we started is workouts by you. Uh, I encourage you guys to look that up. It's what we did was took my Instagram page since I already had somewhat of a following. I had about, uh, around 500 followers on Instagram <clears throat> three and a half, maybe four weeks ago. I now have, or we now have over 1,100 in that amount of time. And uh, <clears throat> the feature page is really awesome because not only are people coming to you 
and they're asking you to get featured, but they're sharing it with other people so that their friends see the workout ideas that we're posting and they want to get featured. So they're tagging friends and they're hashtagging workouts by you and they're, they're doing whatever they can to get featured. And then that's like free advertisement for you when someone shares or hashtags you because now my hashtag workouts by you is extremely has become extremely more popular and uh, <clears throat> and it's also really easy and we're back and I think it's still recording can you hear me Lindsay uh, yes, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Perfect. Uh, oh, well. I think. You can't see us? No, can't see you. I can hear you, though. That's going to suck for the screen share. I'll just try. And we're back I can, again. I can see you. <laughs> okay. Go awesome. for it, Dean. Okay, so we're recording. All right, so that's... we. We planned that because that was a prime example of when technology fails you. So I hope you were taking notes. Yeah. Oh, I unmute everybody. Hold on, one more technical difficulty. Okay. 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 I think we're good. Okay. So what I was saying on feature pages. Uh, where it makes the content what the idea of what you got to come up with to post really easy because people are tagging you and they're like messaging you and they're like hey please feature me and you know for like our I don't know if I said but ours is a fitness tips um, page so anybody that's looking for fitness ideas or fitness workout ideas they come to our page so that's all we feature. We feature both pictures and videos, mostly videos. Um, but I'm getting ready to change that because I've, I've recently discovered that pictures are doing a lot better on Instagram and that may change again to where videos will do better. Um, and then the, the fifth thing I wanted to touch on was third party platforms such as paid for followers which are, in my opinion, and Shalene would agree, and her Instagram impact is a complete waste of time and a complete waste of money. Because these are people that are not your ideal followers. They're not people that are going to buy, buy a challenge pack in the future. They're not people that are going to become a coach. Uh, so they really serve no purpose. These people are usually 12-year-old boys or they're robots that uh, are just out there on Instagram and you're really kind of open up and opening up the door to being hacked if they are bots or spammers. So I highly encourage you not to use paid for followers unless you just want your Instagram, if unless it's kind of like an ego thing and you just really want a big following on Instagram just, just because. But what I would suggest, and this is something that we have started using in the past three week, four weeks now is a web page called Instagress. And that is, uh oh, hold on. Okay. Instagress, and that is. Uh, Are you wanting to share the screen? Yep, I'm, I'm going to share the screen with you guys and show you quickly how you can set this up for your platform. But you can do this for a feature page. You can do this for a regular page, one you have going now. But uh, here's what I what they call the dashboard. So it's set up for both of Kelsey's <clears throat> regular Instagram or personal Instagram. And then here you can see the workouts by you um, dashboard. So we'll just go into this one. So... Okay, so you can get the Instagress for free for three days. They give you a three-day trial. And then you can see here the different packages you, you can buy. 
So literally it can be 33 cents a day. <clears throat> and I just bought a package that was like 25 cents a day because they are running a sale or whatever. Um, but basically you tell Instagress what you want them, what tags you want them to like and what comments you want to make. So you'll come down here to the settings and you can set this on, I, I there's a, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this so we can make adjustments. But there's activity speeds and basically this is how fast you want them to comment and like on stuff for you. And I've got it set to normal. I've been told not to go past normal because you can get put in Instagram jail because they can tell when you're commenting uh, like 500 or you know whatever, making 500 likes a minute. They know they know that's not humanly possible. So, and I've got this set to follow people that have tagged and media type. I don't have any uh, max max like filters. So. <clears throat> That is, let me see, that is people that uh, have a maximum of 500 likes on their photos. So anybody that has more than 500 likes on a photo, I'm not, Instagram isn't even going to comment or, or like their stuff because if they're a huge account they're, and they have 500 plus likes on their photos, they're not going to notice me anyway. So those are the people I don't even want to really deal with because their page is probably so huge. So this is the comment section. These are the comments that you can type in to have Instagress automatically make on the certain hashtags that you set to people. <clears throat> so when you're setting these up, you know, try to act, you know, try to sound like a human, not a bot. So for instance, you know, wow, your page is amazing. Um, you know, could, could I follow you? Could I share your account? Everyone should see your account. I love your pictures. Now, sometimes this doesn't work flawlessly. Uh, there was an instance where <clears throat> a guy that uh, was promoting high heel shoes who probably liked other men, and Kelsey just happened to comment, wow, this page is everything. So it doesn't. it's not flawless, I will say that but it, it has worked a lot uh, and it has worked to, to grow our following and based on the hashtags we selected here, you can see these are the, these are the hashtags that uh, we, want, we want to chase after, anybody that uses these. So <clears throat> we've gone from, we've increased about 2,000 followers uh, between both pages in the last month. So, and it's, it's literally cost us $7. So to me, that's worth it. There, there's a lot of people that have inquired or have uh, connected with Kelsey on Facebook because of this, um, because she is, she's interacting and commenting and reaching out to so many new people in a day that for me to do this for her or for her to do this, it, I would literally have to sit at the computer all day long and do this. So if I could pay someone $7 a month to do this for me, I, I would in a heartbeat. Well worth the money. And you know, you can filter it by locations and all that if you want to get that detailed. But to me, we have such a wide variety. I mean, we can work with anybody throughout the country. So um, I don't have that filtered. I do have it limited on uh, 1,300 likes. So it, once I've liked 1,300 photos, it'll stop. And then all I have to do is go in and just hit start again. So you reach 1,300, that takes about a day and a half, two days. And then it'll also stop when it's reached 400 comments. Um, those usually max out at about the same time. So. You're not constantly on here restarting stuff, but, and all this stuff is saved. And if you want to add a new hashtag at any time you can, or if you want to delete, you just hit the X button there. <coughs> but, uh, 
you know, I've changed these hashtags a lot, you know, tried to make them a little more unique and specific and I've still got some work to do, but uh, you know, it's the, the beauty of it is you can constantly change this and figure out what works and what doesn't. Um, let's see. I think that is all. I hope, I hope the little tutorial helped and uh, wanted to open this up for discussion, but Kelsey, could you help me here? Oh, I don't know what, what were you hitting? I'm trying to stop the screen share. You say stop share. <laughs> okay. Can like you that. unmute the lines so anybody that wants to ask if you If you unmute the lines, it gets very staticky. So if you can just unmute your own line, um, <laughs> then you can ask the question. I have a question. Oh, somebody's got a question. Okay. So when you were talking about music with videos, you said something about the type of music you have to use. Would you say that again? I didn't catch it. Yeah, that's uh, royalty-free music, and you can just type that in on iTunes. Oh. Yep, and it's just, you know, it's usually music with just a beat and no words sometimes. Or, like, Kelsey's found one that sounds like uh, uh, Gangnam Style, but it doesn't have the words. But you still know it's Gangnam Style. So how do all these other people have, like, actual songs to their videos? You can do it. You're just running the risk of getting caught and getting sued. Okay. Okay. Got it. And I don't want to get sued. Yeah. No. And, it, it, and this isn't music. I mean, this royalty-free music isn't music like that you would work out to, but it's better than a video with no music. Mm -hmm. And I, like Kelsey said, I don't want to get sued. So. <laughs> right. I hear you. Here's me. <laughs> okay awesome thank you you're welcome thank you all right anybody else okay me again sorry <laughs> go I, I haven't um I've been posting like three to five, you know, probably three times a day on my Instagram. I had no idea that that was now a no, no. So you're saying one time a day. Do you think at the same time every day is the best or as long as you're getting one out, like at, within 24 hours or so? Um, I think obviously it's best to post uh, all over the board rather than not at all. Um, yeah. but Shalene always recommended to, if you, if you can post at seven o'clock in the morning every day, that's like, that's the best Okay. to stay consistent with how you post. And let's say you want to attract people that are go getters and that don't make excuses and they're up at 4am working out because that's what you do. You get up at 4am and work out post at 4 a.m. because, you know, it may not get as, as many hits, but those are the people you want to attract because yeah. those are the people that are up in the morning. Like if you look at Melanie Metro, she posts really early or Naima is another one. I mean, that girl posts at like one o'clock in the morning. It feels like. <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No problem. Anybody else? Say you don't bite. Say you don't bite. The only bad question is the one you didn't ask. I don't bite. Say I don't bite. And Kelsey keeps telling me that I don't bite. <laughs> How about Emily? Emily looks like she has a question. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> All right, Emily, you're unmuted. You look like you had a question. <laughs> okay, so on the hashtags, um, like how often do you change those, honestly? Because I really haven't done that. I've thought of like on the, like when you do a post, I've kind of went like on Instagram, I guess. Um, when, I, when I do the initial post, I'll post uh, 30 hashtags. And then Instagram used to, 
encourage you to change out those hashtags, but now they're stopping that to where if you make new hashtags, it, it doesn't do you any good basically. Okay. So I'll make a comment right away with those 30 hashtags. And uh, you know, I've got all the hashtags saved in different groups on my phone in the notes section of my phone. So I try to say one day I've got a fitness workout uh, so I'm obviously going to want to tag stuff that's related to that squats, lifting, whatever. And then the next day I have a food picture. Well, I'm obviously going to want to tailor that to food. So I'll have the different categories saved in the notes section of my phone and I'll just post, post those 30 hashtags once and just leave them up. Does that answer your question? Perfect. It's Rose. Mm -hmm. Man, I hope that answered your question. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Does that, I'm sorry, we're having technical difficulties again. Did that, did you hear all that? And did that answer your question? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I heard the first part. I heard the first part of it. It kind of cut out during a lot of it, but <laughs> uh, I heard uh, the like 30 hashtags you saved it. And then I just didn't know like how often you do it. So, okay. So let me try this again. Sorry. Um, yeah. I heard part I, of it. <laughs> no, that's, it's not your fault. I apologize. Uh, so I'll try to, I'll save all the hashtags in my phone, uh, in different categories based on what I'm posting, whether that's food or a workout and I'll post the 30 hashtags one time, and then I'll leave them up. I won't change them out. You used to be able to change them out and it would help your picture or it'd help your post. Not anymore with Instagram, they've changed that. They don't want people swapping out hashtags a bunch. Okay, that's good to know, because yeah, I'd heard you could change them, and I haven't done that, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that you know was people did that all the time that were common like that, that Instagram doesn't want you doing anymore. Yeah, thank you. That answers it. You're welcome. There's four minutes left. Yep, four minutes left. If you're on the phone, you can just unmute your line, I believe, because I've muted everybody. What if I unmute them? Okay, I'm muted. Make somebody talk. Oh. Everybody's unmuted. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You have a question? Okay. Guess not. They're scared. All right. Well, guys, this was good. Um, we will try and get the recording up. I hope it worked with um, all the glitches, but. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> just, okay. just kidding. All right, guys. Um, see you in two weeks because, once again, next week's call will be canceled due to Coach Summit. So, hope to see many of you there. <laughs> Dance party. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.